first attempt at recording this, I guess they muted my audio. Don't want me exposing it, so it looks like again they are trying to get away with not delivering my package. It's too early to say uh, if they haven't delivered it. If they, sorry, if they won't deliver it. But, um, yeah, it's looking like looking like that. I've been waiting about five or six, seven days for a package from Amazon, and I can see why they don't want me having it. For the remote normal monitor and they'll know why I wanted it. Uh, so this is their attempt I guess to try and stop me getting what I need and uh, so I'm just having to find my laptop charger because it's very nearly flat. But yeah, uh, and I, I know th this is highly likely because again, they're targeting me with Royal Mail. And that goes hand in hand with when I had a Royal Mail van honk at me. It was just after I, so whenever I order a package and they want to make it disappear, they'll target me heavy with Royal Mail, right? You know, vans will pull up and park where I am. There'll be Royal Mail, personnel doing the gang stalking hand signals and all this stuff so I've ordered the package and I looked on Amazon and it says your package has it says your package has probably been delivered it's like well, that, I've never seen that on Amazon before saying probably been delivered it either been delivered or it hasn't been delivered right I've ne on Amazon I've never seen that before it, it says delivered or it'll say what's happened to the uh, package. So, you know, this is more, more attempts, I guess, to try and control what I do by just, and, and stealing my mail or just stopping me from getting my mail. But again, I, I, if I can't get my mail, Get my money back, saying I never got the item, which is true. That's what I did before, and I got my money back. So it's not a problem. And then I'll just order the same thing and make sure. I think I'm, from, from now on, I'm just going to have to order tracked because they're just stealing my packages when it's not tracked. So, because then it, it's harder for them to get just ghost it because that's basically what they're doing. They're, ghosting my packages it happened in in the summer or they uh, coerced the, the seller to never send the package because I, I, I think it's the latter because uh, the seller was basically bullshitting me constantly you know basically you know I had to chase it all and he, he was basically saying yeah I'll sort it out and then it never happened and then I'd ask him again he said yeah I'll sort it out and then it never happened so I just got tired of waiting I, I, I ordered a package in uh, when was it July and it never arrived and it took about till September I waited till sept early September and then I got my money back early September so I've waited you know two months this was an international package though so a month at least is a acceptable but you know waiting two and a half months for this package that's not normal and then you know I get my money back that way so that's what I'll have to do you know I've come to I've sent a message to the seller saying do you have any trackage trackage tracking for the package even um, I'm waiting for a response but Again, targeting me with the Royal Mail, as if to say, yeah, we're not going to give you, you know, we're involved, we're not going to let you have the package. So this is Royal Mail in Matlock again, Matlock, Derbyshire, not afraid to name them. This is the area they're in. They're withholding the package from me, probably. If, if, if I never get it, then I will expose them in full. I will name the... Uh, people involved well I don't know the, you know the not the people but the the area involved 
what they're doing. You know, withholding my package, disappear, basically stealing my package. You know, so they're involved. I know that because last time I ordered, they they were targeting me with Royal Mail. So maybe the seller did send the package, but either way, the seller was bullshitting me anyway. So I don't know. I I don't know what transpired, but I know both of them were bullshitting me. And even uh, the other day, I had to wait an unusually long time for the package to get through customs. Not over the, you know, over a week, but I did get that one, and it was all that. So this package here, I guess uh, they don't want me having it. You know, they don't want me having it. So they're gonna do this tactics because of course in this program there's a psychopathic element so they're going to let you know what they're doing so they're letting me know by targeting me with royal mail having them park up as a cycle pass on the way back all right they're going to let me know that yeah we're not going to let you have your package so if you do that fine but I'll, i'm going to expose you i'll ex if i don't get the package i'll expose the uh mail office everything the the you know well, i already have it's matlock derbyshire uh royal mail that are doing this involved in uh coercive persuasion program fucking with my voice right now i'm trying to speak and it's going all over the place uh last night they were microwaving me heavy i was getting a pretty uh bad headache i can feel it a little bit Oh, actually as well but I had, I had a headache so they were presumably microwaving me with something um, had to go into my EMF canopy and uh, eventually it subsided but you know it, it was a strong head like a very strong headache like very very painful not agonizing but painful you know so you know that's a symptom of the uh, technology they're using Cause I don't get headaches, but all last the last uh, two weeks I've been getting headaches. Uh, I've been starting to get headaches. It's funny because around the time just before my targeting began, I was getting very severe migraine headaches, and I know now due to research that that's a symptom of the remote neural monitoring and the the microwave technology that they're using. So, yeah, once again, looks like they're trying to, or are, I say trying to, because I'm not, I'm not 100% what they're doing. They might deliver it, but I've got a feeling they're not going to uh, deliver it. So, once again, this is Royal Mail being used in this coercive persuasion program. It's illegal, UK government have made up, you know, don't let any idiot tell you that it's spiritual warfare or that it's Satan or that it's demons. This is a government run program. You know, I sometimes go into spiritual stuff, but I'm, you know, when you talk about the people on the ground and the tactics being used, this is a government run psychological harassment, psychological warfare, you know, program is designed to get rid of people the government doesn't like, chooses. I guess they're like, okay, this person's undesirable, so we're going to put them in this covert program to try and assassinate them, basically, without any evidence. And if you die, if you if you get uh, you know, uh, injured in an accident or attacked or whatever, They'll say it's unrelated because I've been threatened. I've been physically threatened before in this program. I've had to use violence as a way to defend myself. So I'm going to go into details, but I've had to use violence as a way to defend myself from these these people at times. So they do sometimes when they think they can get away with it, use these, especially like to use these uh, um, kind of.
child of guys. That's best way that you know in the UK you know what I mean, like these these child drug dealing, low level drug dealers. I don't I don't mean like full on gangsters, but you know you know like the these these fake fucking road men guys. They're they're like eighteen years old of all races. No, I've had a lot of trouble with guys like that who are white. I've had trouble with all races, but they like to use these uh, kind of low level criminals to try and intimidate the targets, you know, but if they, I'm not, I'm not scared of them, I'll let you know that right now, I'm not, I'm not scared of these people, I'm not, they don't scare me, and if they want to get physical, we can get physical, you already know what time it is with me, if you study me long enough, you know what time it is, you know, I, I try not to get physical, but they, you know, this, they, I'm telling you, in this program, they've physically, tried to physically threaten me and attack me, so, they do when people say this is no touch torture it is to the most extent but they do sometimes of course it's, it's in a cowardly way you know recently i had this this fucker throw a stone towards me uh i'm not gonna go into detail but they know what time it is but uh yeah it's like they do sometimes resort to cowardly attempts like that so it's not it's not all uh you know psychological so it can get physical so this program is it, it's evil it's based on fascism and communism it's based off of programs that are used in east germany uh current pro tactics stasi tactics community harassment the, these these people work for the government they being trained by the government, being led where to go by the government. Uh, I know that because I see the same people often when I go out. I'll see the same people. No matter what time I go out, chances are they'll pop, they'll pop up. There's this guy right now that will pop up at least once a week. And this is like what happened in Norton Leeds with the, do you remember the uh, pedophile looking guy? I think I named him the most dedicated perp. He was always popping up. If this happened in, you know, it kept happening. And they're, they're telling them where to go They because they know through surveillance, right, when you're leaving or where you're going, what you got to do, you know, target me in the job centre, woman winks at me again, she started doing that again, uh, what's her name, I can't remember her name, I'll expose her some she, she starts winking at me you know, so all she keeps doing when I'm there she'll, she'll wink at me, give me like a little wink and that's that's constantly happening you know, so you might be like oh well maybe she's got a thing for you nah it's, it's harassment, it's psychological harassment because they've done that to me a lot the perpetrator and she's wearing a stripy shirt today which is something they used to target me and other TIs with but one thing they start doing is you know I had the other day not the other day but the other month like two or three months ago, early summer, they had this guy just wink at me on the street with a smile. I'm like, what are you winking at, you faggot? And they don't know what to say, right? It's like, I like, are you gay or something? Stop fucking winking at me like that, you fag. You know? Got nothing against gays. You know, they want to do what they want to do, but I don't like that homosexual shit being, trying to brought to me. You know what I mean? So if you, if you try any homo shit like that with me, I will react to it like that. So keep that shit to yourself, yeah? I'm not gay. If you want to be gay, be gay, but don't be trying that gay shit with me because you will get told to fuck the fuck off, yeah? So, anyway, they, you know, they like to do that. They, they'll wink at me. So it's, it's a fixation tool they like to do. You know, they, they use the same people, like uh, Rowan from, uh, yeah, I'll name you. I'm not afraid of you people I'll name you Rowan who was at Peak Organic in Matlock she was there uh, helping to uh, train me supposedly um, yeah it's a long story I don't know what the fuck went on but she was actually getting money from the council to I think it was from the council anyway to basically train me and then that all fell through you know they were targeting me there the other woman 
can't say on her, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt because uh, oh, she did target me a few times, but not as much as Rowan. So I'll, I'm not gonna, you know. But Rowan and specifically her daughter, they were targeting me with the coughing, the, uh, I don't know the second names. I would name them as well if I knew the second name, but yeah. Rowan and her daughter, her daughter works there. Um, they were targeting me with uh, coughing and stuff. And then the other day, you know, I'm in a completely different area in the woods bump into her because they know and then I, after that I have a job where I do a handstand and pass me you know they know so they send people you know into your area the recruiter so I've been getting a lot of people from I like I'm now I'll name this place too the uh it's called uh what's it called flower in the field I think it's called in Darley Dale right I don't really go there especially since the weather's going to be bad but they were using people from flowers in the field to target me right this is a place where they, they were targeting me with uh, people from there people there were targeting me uh, saying certain things to harass me um, you know playing mind games all that shit and then they were using people from there to uh, you know, and I, I guess they they recommended that place to me because it's for people with mental health problems. Um, but I don't have a mental health problem. I have a Spurgeon's, but that's you know, I guess they'll say that's a mental health problem anyway. I can't help diagnose that. I got diagnosed with that. So what? But I guess they wanted to lump me in with this these mental health people to make me look uh, crazy or whatever smear they want to do. But I'm not crazy. Listen, now I'm talking. I'm not crazy. I can clearly explain what's going on. You know, but it's again, it's another tactic being used in communist Russia. The use of the mental illness theme to discredit the uh, victim of these programs. So yeah, they were using people from there to uh, target me. Uh, you know, still are using people a couple of people from there two people specifically I don't know their names but they're using two people right now to target me and uh, there's this other weird I keep seeing who I don't know but I, keep, I seem to see it like nearly every week in fact every week I tend to see this guy I keep seeing this weird little short guy who looks like an Indian because a lot of these fucks people do you know, I'm telling you in Matlock they look like this Matlock's full of fucking Indians so let me tell you I've never known a town as well with as much hostility as Matlock you know I'm, I'm not afraid to name it I'm not going to be here much longer anyway and in three or four years we're going to be moving possibly anyway probably in fact highly likely so maybe less than that maybe two years so I don't care you know I'll name it the perps know where I live anyway they know the town I live so if you know, I've never known a place like this with. There's, there's so much hostility here as well it, this this town is full it's like a the best way I can describe it is like uh, a prisoner but less extreme but it's like it's got that, that kind of cult mentality of people they're very hostile here very unfriendly very demeaning giving you these dirty looks I prefer Sheffield I'll be honest with you I mean even though I got a whole host of shit in Sheffield from people it wasn't most of the people weren't like that even though was, even though Sheffield is you'll be heavily gangster targeted there you know there are some I met some really cool people in Sheffield but Matlock is fucking full of fuckers man I'm telling you these, these people here are very nasty very snake like very cowardly people live here you know, for instance the guy next door you know kind of snake shit he was doing messing with my fence and shit and then acting like a pussy when I went over you know they're, they're very very uh, they're very they're like vultures you know if they think they can take something from you they'll take and they'll, they'll cause trouble here for you for no nearly every day I'm having run-ins with people here you know I'm 
cycling and I'm about to cross the road and this guy in the van starts waving his hands at me. I'm like, basically the road was blocked off with cars. No other way for me to get out. He's like waving his hands at me. I'm like, the fucking road's blocked off. What do you fucking expect? <laughs> so nearly every day I'm having to deal with hostility. Uh, the police in Matt Locker corrupts. The fire service in Matt Locker corrupts. The uh, ambulance service in Matt Locker are corrupt. Just to detail that. And if you follow my videos, you'll see that. So, yeah, it just uh, that makes me feel better exposing these bastards. So, that's what they're doing, you know. It seems like they're. And the Royal Mail is corrupt here as well. The Royal Mail in Matlock is corrupt. They're all involved in coercive persuasion programs. I get harassment from Matlock fire, fire station every day. They'll be driving up the road with the sirens blazing from the paramedics here, the police, not so much the police, but you know, they're involved, most of them are involved, but the uh, fire service and ambulance are all corrupt, all in, well, most of them, from what I've seen, they're corrupt. But yeah, the, I wouldn't recommend this town. It looks nice, but the people are scum. Most of the people are scum or posh, stuck up, nasty people who look down on you. I mean, I'm not in a posh, posh area, but it's kind of, it's a bit better than where I was. It's like, there's, there's a part of Sheffield, Sheffield, part of that lot, which is rough, and there's part which isn't, and it's posher than this. But there's people here, man, they're just not friendly, man. I, I won't miss this place when I leave. I like it, the scenery. No, I, never, I never felt welcome here. All my neighbours, they're very unfriendly. Or playing games, you know, that my neighbours are playing games, chucking stuff over my fence. They're involved with uh, harassment. I can't, I think most of them are involved, if not all of them are involved, surrounding me with this harassment. Uh, so, yeah, this town, it's a shithole, man. Don't, don't bother. It looks pretty, but it, it, it's the people that make the. If it's the people that make the town, then it's a shithole. It's full of cunts, full of cunts. So, yeah, I hope you perps like that because, you know, I guess you thought I wasn't gonna name and shame you or name where you are. But yeah, Matlock Derbyshire is full, it's full of gang stalking pieces of fucking ass licking shit. So, no, they they suck cock. They they like to take it up the ass from fucking sheep <laughs> I bet you do as well you fucking fag yeah yeah fuck them you know I never felt what this isn't my home you know I never felt welcome here this is temporary you know this is temporary I don't want to live here the rest of my life same with Sheffield but Sheffield it was more the 5G that made me leave I would have stayed if it wasn't for the 5G It wasn't because of the gang stalking I left Sheffield, it was because of the 5G and all that crap. But Matt Locke can kiss my ass as far as I'm concerned. People can kiss my ass. Uh, it's a very unfriendly place. You know, very unfriendly people around here. Derbyshire people are very unfriendly compared to Yorkshire people. I grew up in Derbyshire. I was, well, I was born in Nottinghamshire, so my family are from Nottinghamshire mainly, but kind of grown up in three counties, you know. I was born in, well, I didn't grow up in Nottinghamshire, but I was from three counties. I was born in Nottinghamshire, grew up in Derbyshire, and then lived a lot of my life in Sheffield. You know, five, well, not a lot, but, you know, five years, fair time, you know. But I, I, I prefer Sheffield. It's just the 5G, but anyway. Yeah, fuck all you motherfuckers. I hope you like that shit, you fucking bitch. You better deliver my package or you'll be fucking exposed. And I will get my money back on that shit. You know, I will order the same shit, so don't think you're gonna stop me getting what I want, you piece of shit, fucking bitch.